So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, uh, got some stuff in the paint booth that I'm painting while the paint's drying, waiting for the next coat, multitasking. Got to put some tail lights in the Bronco. And when I get that done, I'm going to jump over and start taking the Volkswagen apart while I put the third and fourth coat on and the clear coat. So got to keep it going. Uh, can't sit around and wait for paint to dry. So you guys know how many projects I've got going. Got to take advantage of all of them. So, uh, I may just throw this on fast forward and uh, get this uh, tail lights in and get all wired up, get all the switches made, uh, all the connections made for the back. And uh, then we'll jump over on that Volkswagen and start stripping it down. We gotta put pans in it, get the motor and, and trans out and uh, pull the body off of the chassis. So uh, we're not gonna get all that done today, but we're gonna get started. So stick around. Enjoy the video and thanks again for the support on the channel, watching and sharing and subscribing and all that good stuff. It really means a lot. So uh, stick around. Let's see what we can get into today. All right, so this is the early Bronco and uh, these are the Dennis Carpenter taillight housings that you buy. And um, they're not color coded like the factory ones would be and they're both the same. The uh, brown is going to be your tail lights. The yellow is going to be your turn signal. The black wire with the red tracer is going to be your backup lights. This kit, the wiring kit that's on for this truck is the uh, Syntec kit. And it comes with a weather pack plug. And it's got a green for your side marker lights. And on this truck, I uh, filled in the side marker lights. So we've taped that up and tucked it back in there. It's got a yellow wire that is gonna be, uh, they've got labeled as the uh, driver's side. So that's gonna be your signal wire. The uh, gray wire in the middle is going to be your backup light. And then this green wire is going to be your uh, tail lights and then of course you've got a ground and then on the other side of the wiring harness it's got the uh, side marker light the ground the uh, uh, backup light is gray and uh, on this one the dark green wire is going to be your stop and then the light green wire just like the other side is going to be your uh, running lights or tail lights. So let's uh, let's cut these and put the weather pack connector on them and get these ready to plug in and we'll make sure that we've got a good ground on this new paint and uh, should be should be good to go. Let's see what's next. All right. These are the parts that we don't need. And let's get these stripped and ready for the weather packs. All right, so <clears throat> this is some of my secret weapons for uh, doing these uh, weather pack connectors. Now, you may think these things are expensive, but uh, I bought all this stuff on Amazon over the years or eBay or something like that. But all of these pliers are for particular size connectors weather packs, you name it. And then it's got all of the adapters and stuff in these pouches to uh, go here and even do even more than it, what it's already got. This one here even comes with uh, a nice little uh, wire stripping, insulation stripping tool. And it, they come with a tool to uh, put the new connectors on. I just thought I'd share that with you because if you're trying to fight these things with a regular pair of pliers and you wonder why your tail lights aren't working if you're trying to do the weather pack stuff you probably have a bad connection so uh, I don't want to jinx myself here so uh, let me see if I can't find the right uh, set of dies for what I'm using get them installed and see if we can't get some of this stuff wired up all right, for you old school guys out there, let's not use our teeth for this. Remember what mom said. 
because uh, if you're old school like me, we may not have very many left. All right, got both of those stripped. And now the fun part, the uh, weather pack. Got to build these out, get them ready to plug in. And I've got a tool for that. Let me go see if I can find it. All right, so we got one of the All right, so you gotta do these in stages. You got a uh, try the middle one, and then move it on down the line. It's a little farther apart. and secure I always like to give mine just a little bit more better safe than sorry all right I think we're ready to pin those into the pack all right as long as I don't forget what I was doing we had the uh, black with a red tracer is going in the center. We had the yellow stoplight or no, yeah, brake light but went in Tail light itself going in. Don't like the way that feels, but all right, that should be it. I think we gotta put the ground in. shiny spot in there and uh, we're gonna hit that with some uh, touch-up paint after we get the ground set so let's do that next all right so I got a hole started for the self tapper I can do by hand now. All right, good ground. Good job. Let's plug this tail light in. And get it ready to go. All right, so I got the... Uh, Everything's all wired up. And I want to go ahead and double check my ground. So, uh, hit the ground on the body. Hit the ground on the, so I'm good to go there. So if, uh, if the wiring harness doesn't have any brakes in it and I wired everything up right, it should work fine. So, uh, Let's go do the other side, and then we'll be done with the taillights. All 
right, there we go. We got both tail lights wired and in. And uh, the other side's done too. There you go. A pair of new Dennis Carpenter tail light housings wired up to the uh, Centec Early Bronco wiring harness. All right, I'm installing these two different ways and I'm gonna let you guys see both ways and tell me which way you think I should run these. One of them has got the stainless steel trim on it and the other one that I'm putting on right now has no trim. I do not really like the way the stainless steel trim is fitting up against the body. But that is without the trim, and that is with the trim. The gap that is between the paint and the body. Now, there may be a different set of lenses. I don't think there is. That has an offset to it where that trim sits down on. But I don't really like it the way it fits the body right there. It may just be me, or I may have installed it wrong. There may be something missing. It doesn't fit that bad on this side. But there it is, guys. With the stainless trim, without the stainless trim. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hey guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I uh, hope you stuck around to this point. Uh, you, if you did, then you're a solid subscriber. For you new guys out there that are watching me for the first time, I'm getting better with age. So hit that subscribe button, push that like button, let me know you're there. I sure appreciate it. It sure helps out the channel and keeps my momentum going. So anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Now get out in the garage and go build something. Till next time.